guys, Nurse Practitioner Jackie here. Today we're gonna to be doing a treatment using the dermal fillers from the RHA line. So this is RHA2, there's RHA3, but we are gonna be using RHA4, which is the most robust of the line. I like to use RHA4 in any places where you would need bony support. For example, the lateral cheeks for that sculpt, the chin, or a chiseled jawline, which is actually what we're gonna to try to achieve with my handsome patient today. So I like to mark a little bit where I will be going. So for jawline specifically, I like to dot the borders of the, of the jaw. I also like to make a little marking for a little anatomical notch that I feel, like where the chin and the jawline meet. That's where the facial artery usually comes and branches out of, and I'd like to stay away from that. Okay. The first couple of injections, I'm gonna be using a needle, because I'm gonna be using a combination of needle and cannula treatment for the jaw. I like to lay my foundation first with a couple of boluses down to the bone, just to create a little bit of foundation. Then after that, I'll have, add a second layer of more superficial on top of it, kind of like what I call the icing on top of the cake. put a total of five syringes in the jawline, so two for each side, and we actually ended up putting a little bit in his chin as well, because personally I feel that the chin is one of the foundations of the face, and it really is connected to the jawline, and I feel that you have to sometimes treat both of them to really, really get that good effect. So you might have seen that I did inject a little bit more on his left side of the chin, but that's because he's actually a little bit smaller on that side. So we dedicated a little bit more filler to that side of his chin. And I told him, I said, that's completely normal. We all have those normal asymmetries. It's part of what makes us so unique. 